Like a man who worked with a construction worker who died on the job at the new William Beaumont Army Medical Center speaks out. Reporter Maria Garcia is live with new details you'll see only on ABC7. Maria. A Stella Fort Bliss official say the man was Jesus Moreno from El Paso, the man who died. And today I spoke with his co-worker who says Moreno's death should shine the light on safety training. All the construction workers need to look up for each other. This man says he was not given permission to talk about the incident and for fear of losing his job, he asked we not identify him. He says Moreno was welding when something exploded. It busted or fell apart. That's when he fell. I'm not very interested in going back to work there anymore, but I gotta feed my family. He says Moreno was well known in the local iron workers union. I'm scared. I'm scared, you know, just I'm not gonna see him on the on the bus in the morning. So I'm not gonna see him. It's real funny, crazy. Very honest man. He's gone. We can't bring him back. The accident comes on the same week other construction workers are telling state lawmakers that safety standards are too lax on construction sites. Some job sites, you know, they don't really, they don't really care. They just want the job done and just go home. This man told us there was, in fact, a safety orientation at the William Beaumont construction site, but he says that's not the case at many other jobs. My sympathy goes to his family. I knew him very well. I know he's in, he's in a good place. El Paso construction workers actually traveled to Austin this week and urged state leaders to focus on enforcing three things, rest breaks, safety training, and workers' comp insurance for construction workers. Back to you. Okay. Maria, thank you for that report.